Hey guys, welcome back to my back porch. I thought I would um, give a quick run through my humidor, I haven't done that in a while, and uh, give a quick review of this little thing right here, the uh, from Buffalo Trace. This had a couple other bands. I've <clears throat> I took them off because I'd got down to it. This is my second one. Um, I believe in giving every cigar, just about, not every cigar, at least two tries. <clears throat> and I'm drinking this with beer, I'm smoking this with beer. I know what you're thinking is, well, it's a Buffalo Trace cigar, man. It's meant to be <clears throat> enjoyed with <clears throat> Buffalo Trace bourbon. Well, the first one I did enjoy with Buffalo Trace bourbon. And I'm going to go ahead and let you in on a little secret if you didn't already know. Buffalo Trace is not a bad bourbon by, by any means. But it's also not um, like a great bourbon. It's not, it's not on par with Eagle Rare, you know. Comes out of the same place. Much better, I think. Exponentially better. Heaven Hills Bottle and Bond better than both of those it's an okay bourbon it's it's fine to sit and sip on an ice cube i don't feel bad about throwing it in you know in an old-fashioned or something like that because it's not it's not hard to get really you know i mean it's i can get it once a month here pretty simple and it's about 35 bucks so but anyway <clears throat> i bought five of these things because i got a good deal on them i thought i'd give them a shot and you know As far as cigars go, it's not terrible, but I'm not going to buy any more. I'm just going to tell you that. I'm just not going to. They're not. They're not that great. It's just an okay cigar. A lot of people are like, well, it's fine for a daily smoke. Well, that's fine. You might buy cigars for daily smokes. I don't buy cigars for daily smokes. I buy cigars because I enjoy cigars, not because I want to have a daily smoke and people are like well i buy cheap cigars for my daily smoke and i'll get the expensive ones for special occasions well every cigar i smoke <clears throat> is a special occasion because i smoke them to relax and to enjoy an hour or so and reflect on you know my day my life whatever's going on nothing sometimes just enjoy whatever it is i'm sipping on my dog who's down here at the moment bothering me you know you can't see him And this thing just went out. So, excuse me, while I reach and get <clears throat> one of my cheap lighters because my expensive one didn't want to work. While I relight this thing, now I'm going to tell you this is the first time this went out. I did let it sit for a couple minutes. I ran inside and grabbed my humidor because I wasn't going to do a video. And so far, you know, the draw's been great. Nothing, nothing to complain about there, you know. But the flavors, have you ever smoked a cheap cigar? It's got the flavors of a cheap cigar. When uh, I watched other videos online and people are like, oh, I'm getting hints of this and hints of cedar and all that stuff, that's all bull crap. Anyway, I'm not getting hints of anything, guys. It doesn't smell terrible. There's no taste on the wrapper at all, none. All right. If you get a good cigar, the wrapper tastes good. I'm just going to tell you. It does. You might notice something different about me, too. <clears throat> no glasses. I got LASIK. Nothing special on the top tray, guys. I just keep my uh, big Bavita pack. I got that. And this great big monstrosity right here. I got those. I ordered five of them. <clears throat> I gave two of them away. Tried to smoke one, it wouldn't smoke. Cut it in half, just okay. Here's the other half right here. So uh, what my humidor set up in three sections, right? Okay cigars, I don't mind giving to people. They come over. I don't have any bad cigars. You know, I don't buy cheap cigars. But things I don't really mind keeping. A middle section that I wouldn't call a daily smoke. They're all good smokes. You know, things like um, <clears throat> the Saliva G. It's or I'm sorry, O, which is, you know, they're good. This uh, Monte Crisco Classic, these are really good. Great little creamy kind of a, kind of a smoke. This is my last one, I'm gonna hang on to it. And I've still got four of these things. I smoked one last night, these Undercrowns, uh, Maduros. Bought a box of them about a year ago, you know, so they're pretty good. 
So what do we have over here? I've got uh, whatever this is. I haven't tried it yet. And <clears throat> I bought a five pack of these. Last Call Maduro torpedoes. Um, I've smoked two of them. The first one I was like, I'm just going to throw them away. They're terrible. Um, but I always give a cigar a second chance. So the first one I had of this, the draw was super tight. I had to cut it and cut it. Almost ended up cutting off all the way from the torpedo end up into the, the full body of the cigar before I could get a decent draw. <clears throat> I did not enjoy it. And I didn't really enjoy the taste of the cigar. It left this, um, it just had a harshness to it that I didn't appreciate. Let them sit in here for about two weeks and I gave another shot. So the second one I pulled out, I could tell right away when I was just, just feeling it. And this one's a little soft too. It, this is not as soft as the other one, but I knew <clears throat> right off the bat, it was gonna tunnel on me. It was gonna be a terrible smoke and it was. Overall, it was better than the first one, but not good. Just wasn't good. I've got a, a Leva G um, box pressed torpedo. This one's really soft too. So <clears throat> that's gonna be a, a giveaway to somebody probably. But then I have the side um, that are my good cigars, the ones that I know that I enjoy, that um, when I want a good smoke, I'm gonna break it out. So what I have is the rest of these Buffalo Trace, which are going to migrate over to the third drawer because I don't love them. My second one, <clears throat> guys, I'm just not enjoying it. I mean, it's, and I'm not hating it, but I don't see the point in, in buying any more of them. I just don't. There's no flavor there. Just burnt paper. And this is supposed to be a quality handmade cigar. You know, <clears throat> ordered by the Buffalo Trace Distillery, supposedly worked out with them um, to match, you know, to accompany their bourbon. I smoked the first one with the bourbon, like I told you. Whatever. I'm not getting what I wanted. Over here on the other side though, so I keep my good smokes. I absolutely love these things. These uh, <clears throat> flathead uh, 554s, these are so super good. The wrapper, the taste on the wrapper, you can you know a good cigar, the wrapper tastes good. Before you even light it, you just get a taste on it like that, like a good tobacco taste, almost like a chewing tobacco kind of a flavor right off the bat. You know, hey, this is gonna be good smoke. So I'm leaving Friday to go on a seven day cruise uh, with my wife. And I'm excited about it. I bought three of these to take with me. So, I also grabbed one of these. <clears throat> these LFD um, uh, Double Ligeros, Double Ligeros. I love it, it's a torpedo shape. I like a torpedo shape. I've never had a bad smoke from LFD. These are always good, I'm excited about it. I snatched up this thing right here. <clears throat> um, the Ligoria uh, Cubana, I have no idea what to expect from this. The guy at the shop talked me into it, so I grabbed one. So we'll give it a shot. You can never go wrong <clears throat> with the good old um, Pedron. Now, this is not the 26 or the 64. These are just, you know, they're, they're everyday. There's a number on them, I can't remember. Just the, um, the Pedron imported. These are fantastic, fantastic for about nine bucks a piece. You can't beat them. They're, if I find a box of them, I'll buy it every time. I'm a sucker for an Arturo Fuente. This is the uh, 858 Maduro, all right? It's not the best one that they make, but you're never gonna have a bad experience with a Fuente. You're just not. They're so, so good, always good, always. Quality, every time, every smoke is going to be <clears throat> a, an experience that you're not going to regret. You're just not, I promise you're not, you know, you're just not. And then I have two um, Gurkhas. Gurkha can be a little bit gimmicky sometimes, but they're reserves. These are um, two that I really like. I really like this one right here. 
first time I was like, ah, I left a kind of a funky film on my mouth. I wasn't sure about that. It was the oil on it, but I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Great smoke. And this is the um, <clears throat> 18 year, and this is the 12 year right here. I've had it as well. It's always, always a good, pleasant experience. So guys, that is really all that I have in my humidor right now. That's it. But I wanted to pull it out and just give you a run through. Usually I have between 30 and 50 smokes in there at any time, any given time. And um, so I'm a little short right now, but what am I taking on my cruise? Well, taking all three of these flatheads, these KO flatheads. I'm taking my LFD. Both of my pedrones, <clears throat> one of my um, undercrowns, Maduros, for certain sure, because they're just so good. And um, that's probably going to be it. These, however, are staying here. They're great for that friend that doesn't care much about cigars. And I'm sorry, Buffalo Trace. I love your distillery. I love your bourbon. I like your Buffalo Trace. It's not my favorite, but your other ones you put out are fantastic. Heaven, um, not Heaven Hill, that's a different distillery. But the Eagle Rare is one of my favorites. I make sure I always have a bottle. If that one gets about half full, I'll go hunting for another one. Here in North Carolina, we can get them. <clears throat> they drop them about once a month, depending on what county you're in, and it's uh, $48 with the tax included, so I'll buy one about every couple months. So, that's it. But, as far as my review of this Buffalo Trace, first third, second third, about to get into the final third, if you want to break it down into thirds, is going to be you know, just okay. The other thing I didn't mention on it was, let me grab one of these other ones to show you. And one of the things that I love about cigars is the quality, the workmanship that goes into it, the time that goes into it, the literally thousands of hours of manpower from the cultivating of the land, the planting of the seeds, the taking care of the plants, the harvesting, the aging, the selecting, the master blenders who put it all together, the rollers who have to know what they're doing, the aging process. There's so much that goes into one of these things that we get for about 10 bucks ish. You know, anywhere from probably, you know, if your decent cigar is going to run you six to 20, you go above 20, you should be getting a <clears throat> incredible smoke. Not always, just to keep it real. But most of the time. But however, this one was in cellophane wrapper, sealed with the little barcode. I took it out. Now, tell me when you see something funky here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is that masking tape holding it together? It's not straight. That's a quality thing, guys. I'm sorry. You can be like, oh, it's a minor thing. Doesn't matter. It's a quality thing. Got a little piece of, not masking tape, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> tape, like on your office desk. Holding that green band. Now, if you're going to put a green band on here, God's sake, don't tape. Don't tape it. The other thing, this cigar, it was taped to it. So I had to get the tape off of it, which, of course, tore the wrapper a little bit. That pissed me off. Why? Why not again? Why did it piss me off? It is humid out here today. That's probably part of it. And honestly, I smoked it without having a problem until I started making this video. Uh, but why did that piss me off so bad? Is because take the time to do things right. You know, you're making a cigar for the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is one of the one of the best distilleries in the country, at least they think they are. You know, they make hard to find bourbons, all their stuff's allocated. You know, you're doing something for them. Take the time to do it right. If you're gonna put a little green band on the end of it, you know, this little extra aesthetic, take the time to make sure that it looks good, that it's done correctly. Why do you wanna take a shortcut 
you know, take some quality in the work. That to me, that is, um, a shot against the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Have better quality control. They don't make the cigars. They work with the, with the, the company that does. But your name's on it. So I've now taken three. That was the third one out. And all three of them have had a piece of tape holding the wrapper on. Or the band. So don't do that, guys. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm smoking this whole cigar. I'm not hating it. I'm just telling you my review as a guy who loves cigars, loves the time I spend. I don't seem very calm right now, but I'm totally relaxed, guys. Totally calm, totally relaxed. Loving my day. It's not horrible. But it's not something I'm going to spend money on again. So anyways, um, if you watch this whole thing, great. If you got something out of it, great. My everyday smokes right there, you know. Um, you know, if I spend money on a cigar and I don't, I mean, it's not like I can spend a whole lot of money on cigars. I'm just a regular working dude. My wife's a regular working girl. I mean, <laughs> working girl. She probably wouldn't appreciate that. She's a nurse. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we do okay, but I don't do, you know, buying a box of Padron 64s a month. Good by any means. But I smoke, you know, most of my cigars are going to run me if I go buy them at the shop between nine and 12 bucks. When I smoke a cigar, that's that's about about what I smoke. And um, I took a shot on these, and I don't regret it. But if I would have had one of these before I purchased it, I would not have purchased it. I'm just going to tell you. So, um, you know, Buffalo Trace, pay attention to uh, what you're putting your name on, for starters. And companies, if you're doing a product for a company with a good reputation like the Buffalo Trace Distillery, take a little pride in your work and create a product that for one is worthy of them, okay? And shame on you, Buffalo Trace, for thinking this was worthy of your of your flagship bourbons. It's not. And, um, and I'm not bashing you. I love Buffalo Trace. I'm always gonna buy their stuff. I mean, there's nothing that comes out of that distillery that I don't like. It's fantastic. But your name is on a, a, a product that's not worthy of you. And I'm I'm sorry that I feel that way. And I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. If you're someone who has reviewed a Buffalo Trace cigar and thought that it was just king of the world, I hope you got paid to say that. Because if you paid me to say it, well, it depends on how much money you offer me, right? Yeah, I might say it, but probably not because ain't nobody paying me to say squat out here. But anyway, listen, guys, I hope that you're enjoying a wonderful cigar today. You're enjoying this beautiful July uh, afternoon. It is hot out here. It's about 85 right now in eastern North Carolina. You go about an hour east of us, it's probably 95, right? One of the benefits of living on the coast is it's not as hot as it is inland, but, you know, your underwear is sticking to you. It's so damn humid out here. So anyway, uh, I still love it, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, hey, keep smoking. Drive on.